Hi, my name is Matt Duff, and today we're going to talk about how to do filtering for a thermocouple. And what we've learned so far is that the signal that comes from the thermocouple is very small. So anything we can do to get rid of noise, to uh, really distinguish that signal from all the extraneous other stuff that's out there, uh, will be really beneficial. So one way we can do that is through using filtering. And there's two types of filtering that we're going to want to do. So one type of filtering that we're going to do is called RFI filtering, or, or filtering to get rid of radio frequency interference. And, and the reason that we do this is that if you have a thermocouple, especially if the thermocouple is a long lead, um, it may pick up a lot of high frequency noise, say, say 100 megahertz, a gigahertz, you know, cell phone type noise. Um, and if that gets into our instrumentation amplifier, that instrumentation amplifier may rectify it and cause problems. So, what we're going to do is we're going to add um, some RFI filtering. Now, what's important to note is that we're adding this filtering after our one mega ohm bias current resistor, so that the so that uh, the none of the current that comes through this bias resistor is going to go through these extra resistors we're adding. So, so note that. Um, so I'm going to add a filter here, and this filtering doesn't have to be that low a frequency. So, for example, I might do 10 kilo ohms and a nanofarad, 10 kilo ohms, and a nanofarad. So that's going to give us, say, about 16 kilohertz on both of these. Uh, because really, the purpose of this is to get rid of this radio frequency interference, so this really high uh, interference. And you don't want to go too, you know, you could go lower in frequency, but one of the difficulties is you shouldn't really make these resistors much bigger. Uh, because remember, this, this in amp is going to have some bias current. So let's pretend this in amp has one nanoamp of offset current. That one nanoamp is going to flow through this 10 kilo ohms and give you about 10 microvolts. And remember that for a K-type thermocouple, uh, it's only about 40 microvolts per degree C. So you can see that even these tiny numbers with the one nanoamp, it's pretty small input bias current, can still give you a quarter of a degree error if you use, say, a 10 kilo ohm resistor. So you really don't want to, you know, you might even go with even smaller resistors here. Uh, you do have more flexibility to at, uh, increase the capacitance. Uh, if you do actually want to use this uh, filter stage for uh, lower frequencies, what I would recommend doing is doing this, putting the capacitor, putting another capacitor uh, across the inputs where you now you can put a big value. Um, and the reason that you do that is just so that uh, it, mismatch between these two filters can give you common mode problems. And so if you put your big value across here, that kind of keeps you safe. Um, so, but this is mainly for RFI, and then normally for thermocouples, you're going to want to get rid of, say, line noise or other. Uh, normally, thermocouples, you know, just like any temperature measurement, is very slow. So you really want to do a lot of filtering on it uh, because the signal of interest is really slow anyway. So you're over here on your output where you have more freedom after you've done your gain. Um, you can put a really hefty low-pass filter. So, for example, I could put one mega ohms and a microfarad here, and this will give me something like. 0 0.15, 0 0.16 hertz, or something really slow. So you can set it wherever you want, but the main purpose of this is to get rid of 50 or 60 hertz noise. Uh, another option, instead of uh, using some filtering here at the output, is you can use a sigma delta converter. Uh, sigma delta converters normally have very nice inherent uh, line noise filtering, so you can use you can do that. Um, so this is how you do the filtering uh, for a uh, thermocouple application. And next time we're going to talk about uh, doing linearization for a thermocouple.